This graph shows you all the cash moving in and out of your business and how it affects your bank balance. The blue line is made up of the predictions or budgets that you enter into float. Creating budgets for future cash is how you build your forecast in float. Your cash flow table will pull in accounts from your accounting software that have transactions in them within the last three months. If anything's missing, you can add new accounts as well as group and reorder them via the manage table layout button. To build your forecast, you need to create budgets for cash you expect to spend and receive in future months within the relevant account lines. Budgets in Float are a little different from traditional P&L budgets. The budgets you make in Float should be inclusive of tax and set on the date that you expect cash to actually be paid rather than the due date. Float budgets can be changed, moved and amended frequently to reflect what's going on in your business. It's important to keep them updated so you can get the most accurate forecast possible to make confident decisions for your business. Budgeting will help Float to project your future cash balance and show you whether you're behind or ahead of budget. You can either enter multiple budgets per month or just one each month. It's up to you. To enter a new sales budget, you should enter the total cash figure you expect to receive, including tax, and then add the date for when you expect to receive it, rather than when you're going to invoice for it. If you're not sure where to start with budgeting, you can use our budget suggestions to get you going. You can see the options down the right hand side here. I'll create a monthly recurring budget for this client who has a retainer with us. It's the same every month, so this budget will account for a set amount of money coming in each month. I've also got a new client working with us this month and paying every two weeks, so I'll add them in too. When you have multiple cash amounts moving in or out within one account each month, like sales, you can budget for that in any way you choose, by client, by day, by week, or just one lump sum per month. When you make multiple budgets within a month, you can change individual instances by clicking in here. You can ignore or delete any, or change the date or amount. Keep in mind that when you have multiple budgets, Float will add them to a monthly total and show you the progress towards or beyond that total. It won't be able to tell whether an individual client has paid you more or less than expected. I also know that I'll be spending £1,800 per month on rent, so I'll add that in here. That happens on the first of every month. I also pay our marketing agency £2,000 per month, so I'll add that into our marketing and advertising row. Your figures are not double counted if you budget for something and an invoice comes in towards it. Instead, your budgets act like placeholders that fill up with invoices, bills and actuals. You might be wondering if you can save time by importing your Xero or QuickBooks budget. The answer is no, because Float is cash-based and your budget in Xero or QuickBooks is on a profit and loss basis. However, what you can do is export your budget from your accounting software to a spreadsheet, make it cash-based, make a few changes, and use Float's spreadsheet input feature to copy and paste it straight into Float.